Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing well and feeling good out there. This is a pick a pile for what does spirit want to tell you? What advice do they have about your situation you're in? It could be any kind of situation, love, life, job, family, what have you. What advice do you need right now from spirit? <laughs> so pick a pile, these are all headbands. So pile number one is the white headband. Very pretty. Vibe to it, pause it if you need to. Pile number two is the pink. Pink and diamond. Very, very light pink, it almost white. Very pretty. And pile number three is the blue and the diamond. Not real diamonds, I doubt it. <laughs> but I doubt that they're diamonds. But okay, pile number one, white. Pile number two, let's see if we can get it. Pink, pile number three, blue. I will time stamp in the description box, or if you're on Facebook, it'll be right in the title. Pause it if you need more time. We'll get right into pile number one, which is one, 14. Hi, pile one. Let me make sure I put these back on the right pile so I don't screw that up later. Pile number one, you picked the white headband. Very pretty, one of my favorites. Let's see what spirit has for you. Advice. I feel my way into faith one step at a time. Directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. I release time and let the universe show me what to do. Okay, so you're very stressed out. This is They're telling you to take one step at a time. Put your faith in me, spirit. I will get you where I need to need you to go, basically is what they're saying. Focus on what's thriving, not what's failing. What's good in your life, not what's bad. Focus on the good, be thankful. Winter, the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months, which is upon us right now. <laughs> I feel like this has something to do with the holidays, but over the winter, um, you're going to be getting those answered prayers children your connection with children is part of your life's purpose so if you've been wondering what you need to do as far as career you could work with children or this is a confirmation that you are a good parent you're not fucking up everything will be fine do some research you need more information about the situation look into it further before proceeding so you need to take a break stop stressing um if it's about your children's education, look into tutoring at home better. If it's about child psychology, definitely getting those vibes. What what part of working with children do you want to do? Or what does your children need? Um, research about it. Watching clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. You're very stressed, so Spirit's saying you need to unwind. You need to do things that make you feel good. Do a face mask. Paint your nails. If you're a dude... Have a beer, watch a football game or something. Whatever makes you feel good, like sit in that hammock and chill. You're very stressed out. Embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. This is about being thankful. Thank you, Spirit, for the roof over my head. Thank you, Spirit, for this food in my belly. Thank you, Spirit, for these good people in my life. Thank you, Spirit, for giving me someplace to go this holiday season. Thank you, Spirit, for always getting me through it. Like, stop focusing on the negative and what you need to do. It's time to pause and be thankful and calm down and have enthusiasm for life instead of being a little Debbie Downer. I feel like you're in a slump a little bit. Solitude and silence, peace prevails. You need to sit by yourself. You need to avoid dramatic situations. You need to really think about what you want here and what you're asking for. Listen to your intuition. You have that third eye and it is leading you in the right direction. You're just second guessing yourself. You're not believing in yourself. So listen to that intuition they gave you. Wait it out. Stop. Think. When you are calm and your mind is centered, you'll know what to do. Ask your angels for help. Ask spirit for help. You need to talk. You need to pray more. Be thankful. Surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. So your fear, 
here has to do with a lover or being vulnerable. You need to work on this. You need to ask your angels to help you with this. And you need to get out of your nerves, get out of your head, and focus on what the real issues are and why you have such a fear of intimacy. And dig into it. Do your research. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. You can't fix the situation. You can't make people change. As much as you want to, that's not your responsibility. The only one you can make change is yourself. So stop trying to save other people. Stop trying to... You're not put on this earth to save others. You're, you're put on this earth to go on your own journey. Yes, be kind and help others. But it is not your role in entirety to make sure that they're okay all the time. That's not your role. That's the divine's role. Stop trying to play God out there. Surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are caged, <laughs> caged. that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you're fear or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. You're just generally overall scared to change a lover, change change your life in some way. You're scared to be vulnerable. You're scared to give your heart out. And you're scared to leave what is comfortable. That's not going to bring you happiness if you live in fear. You're in denial about a love situation. Um, I feel like Spirit's saying you're in a very toxic situation, but you think you can save it. And they just keep giving you signs that there's nothing left to be saved. And you're just not seeing it. You're in denial about the situation you're in boredom you're very bored where you are you have no passion for life it's like deadpan you have no excitement which is why they're telling you to have enthusiasm and follow your enthusiasm because you're bored the situation that you're currently in is not going anywhere um maybe you have a fear of letting people in all the way maybe you want to let you want to show someone who you are whether it's the person you're with or it's someone else but you you're in denial that you are unable to be emotionally stable like that and emotionally vulnerable. But also that you're not recognizing things that need to change here. You want that new life, you got to work for it. you got to get out of your comfort zone. you got to be willing to be vulnerable. you got to follow your passions here. Think about your future and what you really want. You are the creator of let go of the past and move forward. You need to let go of a toxic situation and move toward in the direction you really want, whether that's love or work with number 11. I'm really feeling it's about love here. Openings, number 22. A new door is opening for you. Uh, also another holy number. you got 1122. Two, two. So you're moving in the right direction as soon as you start realizing and come out of that denial that the situation you're in is not going to get any better. It's not your job to make sure they're okay. You need to get yourself out of the situation and then they need to make themselves okay. You can't make them okay. It's not it's not going to it's going to do nothing but ruin your life. The longer you stay and make sure they're okay, they have what they need. Who's making sure you have what you need and that you're okay? You need to focus on yourself now. Laughter. Laughter attracts unicorns. <laughs> so if you're trying to attract love, not only do you have to laugh, but you have to laugh in your soul. You have to be happy. You have to be on high vibes, and you aren't. You're in a very toxic situation. Um, you need to stop being in denial about the truth, whether you're bored in a relationship, whether you're bored in your job. It's time to get up and do something about it, is what Spirit is saying. I'm sorry. I know that's a bit harsh, but... I'm telling you the advice that they're passing on. Don't kill the messenger. I love you all out there. I'll see you next time. All right, pile number two, 921. How are you, pile two? You picked the rose pinkish and diamond. Very pretty. Headband. All right, what does spirit need to tell you? What advice do you need? I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. When I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. So, you need to start believing that you're worthy of things. 
Um, they're recognizing that you're doing the work, but you're still in that whack. Like, I don't deserve to be happy. I don't deserve to get out of my situation. I don't deserve to have the job I want. But yes, you do. Change your mindset. I feel like you are starting to see the bigger picture that they are <laughs> in power of your life. And we're all just kind of like spirits puppets. Um, you need to understand that they're going to guide you where they need to go. you got to give them the reins. Stop trying to control it. Have faith that will all work out. Travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. Ooh, this could be going home for the holidays. This could be going about a job. But you're going to be traveling very soon. Marriage. The fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. You might be traveling to go propose to someone or traveling away from a marriage. Spiritual teacher. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. So you could be traveling for work and you might um, bump into your future spouse. <laughs> if this is about love and you're thinking about traveling, maybe you're at a distance um, with somebody that you care about. Um, experience referencing that you are traveling to somebody who is almost like a spiritual teacher or a spiritual connection. That might be for a small few. Take what resonates. What else do we have? Unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. You you might be feeling like, where do I go from here? Everything's chaotic. But you are exactly where you need to be and you will figure it out one step at a time. Give it to spirit. Have faith. It'll all work out. We don't know. We're, we don't always have a map. We don't always know what's going to happen, and that's the beauty of life. Miracles happen when we least expect it. Taking shelter. The answers are within. All the answers you need are already inside. They're already communicated. You're just doubting yourself. Desert passage. Trust that there's a divine plan. Exactly. They're leading you exactly where you need to go. You're doing what you need to. Stop stressing so much. Within the next few months. I feel like this is about love if you're going to travel for work or travel to that lover within the next few months. They did say spiritual career, but I feel like this is like somebody who taught you how to be more spiritual. You're going to be coming to them, whether that's a work or love situation, within the next few months. No, you don't need to worry about rejection, I'm hearing. You're so afraid of being rejected. I don't feel like you are going to be rejected from a job or a person. Choose a new direction. Okay, so what you're in now, if this is if you're the lovers that I'm getting, you're moving out of a direction, like out of a marriage. Um, could be why the marriage card came up. No, you can't save the marriage. No, it's not the right one for you. Um, you need to choose a new direction towards that spiritual person. Um, if you're not in the lover, choosing that new direction as far as work or traveling to that new place is going to bring you a surprise. Like I said, maybe you will be meeting your spouse. Surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. They're bringing you what you need. Just hang tight where you are, relax, raise your vibes, believe in yourself, get out of this lack mentality. Everything's happening as it's meant to. You're on the right path. Surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Okay, so they also want you to say no. Set those boundaries with people who ask too much, who take too much, or who are cruel to you. No, I don't want you around. No, I don't want to live with you. No, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to help you. It's okay to say no. And they're absolutely saying when you don't want to do something, say no. Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us. Even the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth. And worth and that come just from being you you are a twin flame out there this is about love this is about leaving behind a karmic and going towards your love or a job one or the other but i really feel like it's a twin flame take leadership on setting those boundaries with the toxic people job in your life follow what spirit 
gives you. The signs, the synchronicities, how you feel. If you are all caught up in love with someone, they're trying to show you that that's a direction you're supposed to go in or a job as well. You're being guided. Someone's your lantern out here. Unconditional love. They aren't going to reject you. This is an unconditional love situation, um, especially if you're going towards a twin flame. This is also spiritual saying, we love you, spirit saying, we love you unconditional. No matter what mistakes you make, no matter what you choose, they will guide you. Compromise. This is about letting go of what doesn't serve you. Recognizing that it's time to let things go for what is right for you. Making room, deading old stuff, clearing out your suitcase for what is supposed to be in your suitcase. For the new things, for the good things. Queen of the Unicorns, you are blessed with love, compassion, and wisdom. That a light worker, you might be being the lantern for someone. Again, referencing moving, change is happening, so be prepared to move physically or spiritually. I feel like you're moving on spiritually, and like spiritually is like getting out of a marriage long term. You're moving, you're getting out of toxic things. Prosperity, prosperity is flowing towards you, so be open to receiving it. Like I said, they're sending you what you need as far as signs money whatever you need they're going to send it to you now is the time to be still and think about what you really want what's toxic what do you need to get out of your life and set those boundaries okay pile two that was intense but good i feel i'll see you next time pile two all right pile number three you are 1640 hi pile three you picked the blue pretty headband here all right, let's see what spirit has in store for you. I choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe. When I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. Oh. Wanting more for others puts me into the energy of abundance. Okay, so they're telling you, this is working about manifesting skills. You want to manifest something, you have to believe that you are worthy of what you're trying to manifest and believe that spirit is bringing it to you. You have to be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, helping others makes you feel good. They might be reminding you to be helpful this holiday season. Oops. Practice, practice, practice. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. Practice those manifest things. Practice thinking better about yourself. Healing, healed, healer. Healing energy surrounds you in this situation. You're trying to heal whatever situation is bad right now and heal yourself. This is about healing how you see and think about yourself. Ooh, new career. Your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. Yes. Maybe you lost your job in the pandemic or maybe you're trying to... Um, get a better job or, or do better. Get that promotion. Everything is going good for you. You're healing from past stuff. Practice thinking better about yourself. I feel like you're going back to the mentality of when you were in Dark Knight of Soul, depression. But they're, they're helping you heal from all the hurts in the past and all the bad thinking. Vast vistas. Expand your horizons. Exactly. You can manifest anything. You can do anything. You can have any job you want to. You just got to believe it and you got to put that energy out there. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing and they're helping you. This new career, if you're worried about work, if you're worried about money, they're going to help you. It's going to be flowing in, so take a deep breath and relax. Overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything, exactly. No matter how hard it is, no matter what you lost, no matter... What is going on? You can overcome it. You have to believe it. Trust the divine. Trust that they are helping you. Trust that they got you. Trust that good things are coming. It's up to you to make it happen. You got to believe in yourself. You got to put forth that action. You can't just think about it. You got to put forth that energy. Not the right time. You need to heal a little bit more or you lost things or things weren't coming to you because it wasn't the right time. This is talking about divine timing. You're blocking yourself because you're healing. You keep going back to I don't deserve it or nothing good is going to happen. Like you're going back to bad mentality so they're trying to heal you through, through their expert way so that you can manifest better. 
it's not showing up right now, why you're impatient, because you're like, where is it? I've been manifesting this forever, because it's not the right time. Everything happens in divine timing, when it's up to you to start manifesting correctly and stop feeling bad about yourself. Surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. You've got to surrender. You've got to allow them to help you heal. You can't just act like everything's okay. You, this is about you asking for help, recognizing that there's still some stuff in here you gotta you got to fix. We all do, all the time. No one is 100% healed, healed for the entirety of their life. You're going to have new things to heal from. You're going to go back and think about things and you got to, because you haven't healed all the way. Sometimes we feel like we are and we're in a really good place and then we get shook up a little and we realize we're not. We didn't exactly heal all the way because we're ebbing and flowing as people. <laughs> we change as people all the time. Surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted, addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So you might... Um, Need to go to rehab, need to start eating better, um, spending a little more time on yourself instead of working so much. Whatever your addictions are, they're calling. It's time. It's time to face them. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. You're trying to be Mr. or Mrs. Perfect for everyone else. Making sure they have what they need. Making sure they're okay. Making sure they're happy. Who's doing that for you? It's time for you to stop giving that energy out to everyone else and turn it on yourself. Take care of your addictions, which might be a people pleaser helping too much. And give that energy back to yourself. Purpose. You have a purpose in this life and you will find it. I feel like right now is about healing, resting, stop trying to do too much, stop trying to help everyone, stop pretending like you're okay because you're not. You need to work on your physical body here, like again referencing those addictions. Maybe you're eating bad, maybe you're overeating, or you're not eating enough, or you're not getting enough sleep. Something with your body is not good. They're wanting you to work on that. Figure out what your true priorities are. Your priorities right now should be yourself. Giving energy to yourself. Getting rid of addictions. Being healthier. Being happier. Everything else can wait. Everyone else can take care of themselves. You need to focus on you and you alone. Wishes. Be careful what you wish for as one wish will be granted. Exactly. You are a powerful manifester when your mind is focused and not thinking back. Choices. There's another way. Ask your unicorn to help you find it. <laughs> Unicorns like spirit. You have choices. You are not stuck in any situation. Stuck is illusion. Archangel Raphael. Healing and abundance are coming to you. Raphael is a great helper for healing. Especially when your heart is heavy. He's helping you try to pull that abundance. Good things are coming to you. You need to believe it. Um, stop doubting yourself. Stop thinking you're not worthy of it. Work on those addictions. Focus on yourself and just zen out. You need to raise your mental vibes. Think good about yourself. You are worthy of things. You can do this. You have a new career coming, they said. Your abundance is coming in. Just relax. Work on deading any addictions that are toxic to you. Getting healthy and preparing for this new great future that is coming to you. Pile number three. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow night. Love and light. And happy Turkey Day. If this is the only one you watch before Turkey Day, gobble, gobble, double plate, second helpings, third helpings. It's a cheat day for everyone. Okay? <laughs> Bye, guys.